Here it is, BenQ SL display. I've been waiting to get one into the studio to do some testing for quite some time. And now that I have one, let's have a look at it. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. The first time I've seen and played with this display was at a photo trade show. I was doing a live portrait lighting demonstration. As I'm photographing each of my models, the preview is showing up on this screen right away and we have this set up in a vertical orientation right next to my models. So they get to preview what they look like right away with amazing skin tone reproduction and also great color accuracy. In fact, this is one of the creative uses that I have for this display that I envision. And there are many more that I'm going to share with you. This is part of BenQ SL digital signage display. It comes free shipped with BenQ X sign and it also runs on Android operating system. It is really designed to be in a commercial space where the display have to be on 24 seven, 365. Based on the spec sheet, this display can run continuously for 50,000 hours. To put that into a number that we can easily grasp, that is close to six years. So obviously the endurance of this display is there. But for us Creative Pro, what we really care more than the endurance itself is color accuracy and how great it can show color. And this display does not disappoint. There are two things that really makes this display stand out for Creative Pro. Number one is that it's a large display and it can show 100% sRGB and it is also the world first Pantone validated digital signage or first Pantone validated display, which is just really amazing. So the best way for us creative pros to think about this SL series, it's not a replacement for the SW or the PD line, but more so an extension for a very specific use. If we look at the SW hardware calibrated display or the PD pro designer displays, we will find that the largest display you can get is a 32 to 34 inch size. If you want something larger, there are some display in the market that can go up to about 40 inches or so. However, if you're looking at anything larger than that, then you really have to think about getting a TV or a projector. There are many great technologies in TV nowadays. However, every time we hook up our computer to it, there are signal processing running on top of that that's making the pictures that we're showing on our TV look washed out, skin tone reproduction's not as good. You can try to calibrate it. However, it doesn't really work well all the time. And that's a big problem with using a TV to preview our work. What about a projector then? Well, you have to be in a fairly dim environment and projector color rendition is only as good and it can only be so good. I mean, there are limitations to what the technology can do because you're projecting a picture through midair, right? So there are certain limitations with the other technologies that are out there on the market today. And like I said, this is going to be an extension for the SW and PD line where if you need something larger with amazing color rendition, this would answer the prompt for you. This SL display come in five different sizes, 43, 55, which is the one that I have here, 65, 75, and 85 inches. There are a variety of sizes that will fit into your creative environment. After testing this display for some time, the one great thing about this display beyond just the super color accuracy, 100% sRGB coverage being the world first Pantone validated digital signage is the fact that I can be unapologetic about the colors and the way how they're rendering on the display. I can't tell you how many times I have to walk into an environment, link up my laptop to a projector or to a TV screen and have the color be all over the place. And it's really hard to communicate what you're trying to say when the colors on the screen is not correct and you have to tell people, my apologies, this is not the way how my image look or it's not the way how my editing look or the preview is looking and I have to show them what it looks like on my laptop. It takes a lot of time to just go through that process and it doesn't make you look professional. This eliminates that problem entirely. So some of the creative uses for photography, as I mentioned, for this display is to use it in a headshot studio. If you're photographing headshot, you're doing models, family session, anything like that in the studio, you can have this sitting on the side, especially if you're staying further away from the subject and you're using a long lens to capture them, you can have this large display, either horizontal or vertical right on the side, and they can see exactly what they look like, make the necessary adjustment. 
right away without having to break their posture, get up from where they're standing or where they're sitting, move over to display to see what you're really photographing and then coming back and sit down again. It's really breaking the flow. And it's also breaking the flow for you as well as a photographer. So being able to stay in the flow much longer, it's going to be extremely important. This display definitely helps with that. If you're in a commercial studio, you're photographing for a campaign where that involves model, it's just product on the tabletop. If you have a team of art directors or even just one in the studio, you can have this display on the side showing the art director in a very large format what you're getting with super accurate colors. This way, the feedback conversation will just be about, could we make some adjustment to this or that? And not so much just the way how the color is rendering on the display. Because I'll tell you this, many times art directors are really great with the direction they want this to go, but they're not really good at communicating colors. And they always think that what they're seeing is going to be the final product. And that makes it somewhat difficult at times. So being able to communicate color clearly right away helps eliminate one of the variables in a conversation. If you have an extra room or a lounge for your art directors, you can have one of these display in there and showcase it in that environment as well. This way, again, they're seeing super accurate colors right away. So the feedback will be about the elements, the composition of a shoot itself. If you are a portrait photographer, I already mentioned the in-studio photo session, but this can also work really well for in-home sales as well, or in-studio sales. If you're sending people down to show them what they would look like, their album, their portrait session, if you do weddings or events for them, for instance, and you're making an album, this is the perfect display for that because this can sit on top of your mantle, but rather than having a display like a TV, you just have this super color accurate display there. So every time you're showcasing the work, it looks exactly the way how you want it to be printed. This is an absolutely fantastic experience. And again, you can be unapologetic about the way how the color looks. You don't have to tell them or have a laptop sitting on the side saying, by the way, this is what the composition looked like, but the color looked like what's coming out of my laptop. You don't even have to worry about having that piece of conversation because what they're seeing is going to match really closely with the final product. What happened if you're in a conference room environment? Can this be used in a bigger environment, for example, in a teaching studio or something like that? Absolutely. This is what I love the most is that this display is super versatile. You can put them on a stand like I have right now with wheels and you can move them to different rooms. You can have this permanently mounted a wall. So there are a lot of uses for it. I can see this larger size one being used really well in an educational environment where you want people to see exactly the colors that you're getting from the laptop or your computer that you're editing on. This is gonna be fantastic if you're showcasing your work in photography, showing an edit in Lightroom, a demo in Photoshop, whatever that may be. Let's talk about a few more creative ways to use this display. If you are a designer, especially if you're designing for print and you use Pantone color swatches, this would be the perfect display you want to use for that. Because being that this is a Pantone validated display, you can show accurately on the screen in a conference room, in a presentation, the colors that you want this to be print out that matches perfectly with the Pantone swatch you have. If you are a video pro and you want to do a premiere with your clients, whether that be a commercial, a wedding that you film or anything like that. And by the way, when I mention video pro, I'm not talking about the Hollywood video pro. I'm talking about the video pros out there who does all these events and all these commercial filming and everything. This would be the perfect display to showcase your work exactly the way how you want it to be seen. Those are some of the creative uses for this SL series. Now let's have a look at some of the other aspect for this display. Let's start with the specification. As I mentioned, it comes in five different sizes and the overall spec between all those sizes are going to be very similar to this 55 inch model. They're 4K UHD 3840 by 2160, direct LED backlight, 500 nit maximum brightness. In fact, it looks just fine right now, even though I have these bright LED lights in my studio shining lights on me and this display can still show really great color. In fact, it is still a little bit brighter than what my camera can capture. It has a 1200 to 1 contrast ratio, 60 hertz refresh rate. It comes with two 10 watt speakers built in, so it can carry sound, provided that you're linking this up to your computer using a cable that can carry sound. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the side, should you want to link this up to a speaker set. It also has two input for HDMI and one full display port and a few USB ports on the side as well. So you can use a wireless USB dongle. And also if you want to plug in a USB flash drive, 
To show pictures, you can do it directly without having to link up a computer. It has some controls on the bottom right side of the display. On the back of it, you don't get the chance to see it in front here, but you can control some basic functions for the display. It also comes with this little infrared remote that you can use to control the display. You have to point the remote towards the bottom right side of the display because it's still using infrared signal. But it does come with Android operating system running on top of here. And this is not Android TV. There are certain limitations for the way how the Android works on here. For instance, you can go in and choose the input source. You can choose the audio, adjust the volume and everything. For the display itself, you can choose different aspects of it, even though it's limited right now because I'm using an HDMI input. You can control different picture mode. For example, I'm in Pantone color, but you can certainly use an Mbook color mode. And Mbook is really amazing because it's designed so that the color on this display is showing very similarly to an uncalibrated Apple built-in display, such as the one in the MacBook, MacBook Pro, or even in an iMac display. So if you want to have an Apple preview, what the color would look like, Mbook would be fantastic for that. It also has cinema, so you can use this to view cinema if you want to, and photo mode. So there's different aspects of this that you can go in and set, and you also certainly have a custom mode that you can go in and dial different aspect for the image. You have control for the device itself, for instance, key lock, IR lock, pixel shift, VCR. So you have all those things. But if we go into Android operating system, you will see that this is pretty much standard BenQ operating system right here on Android. So it's like a large smartphone per se, in a way. It is and it also is not at the very same time. You can go into all apps and they do have different app settings you can choose from. For instance, there's not really an app store, but what you can do is go down into all apps and BenQ suggests. This is pretty much all the BenQ suggested app is recommended for the platform. And these are some of the things that you can use in the system. However, it's limited to that. You can't load in any other apps other than the one that's on the recommended list. So yeah, that being said, it's a very simple Android operating system. As I mentioned, it comes with BenQ XSign and there is a media player should you want to just directly plug in a USB jump drive that has the content on there, you can do it directly. But I think the best use for this display is to link up your computer, link up your camera to it and be able to show people exactly what you're photographing, what you're filming, or just showcase the final work right then and there. So there are really a lot of great uses for this BenQ SL series. And so far in testing and playing with this display, I'm really impressed by what it can do, colors and everything else. It's definitely much better than a projector. It's definitely much better than TV. And skin tone reproduction and also overall color reproduction accuracy is absolutely amazing. I'm showcasing some portrait work here and we can see that the skin tone rendition on this display is just absolutely fantastic. I can stand right in the middle of the display or move to the side and the color still looks the same. And that's an amazing angle view that we're getting from this display. So this SL series does offer a lot of promise the best way to get this display is directly from BenQ. But if you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified. And until next time, in Art We Trust.